show you how to inject a web browser with this and then get a shell. Just to mention, this is on localhost. Um, you can Google, there is a way to get beef to work with your own website that's hosted and facing the now um but for this it's gonna be locust i ain't gonna i don't have time to do that unfortunately i'm dealing with some legal stuff anyway enough of that let's firstly you want to go r dub dub html you want to remove everything that's in here with the rm command rm and then the file name so index.html whatever else is in there then you want to start beef if it isn't there then install it um, so you just want to run that mine's already um, running so as you see um, and then whatever this URL here is uh, no this one you just want to copy that um, and when you nano index.html because we're making a new index um, .html you're going to want to copy this um, or whatever your website is and then but you want to make sure that you add this and paste that link for me it's that but yours could be different who knows and then once that's done um, you want to um, service apache to start and that will start apache for you now <coughs> um, that's done so that's practically all you want to head on to your browser and you want to go um here 3000 slash ui slash panel i believe it is yeah so by default the username is beef and passwords beef but it should have prompt you when you started beef to change the password um so i changed mine to root i was trying this earlier so don't judge I was messing around I'm trying to get you the best content now what we're going to do is we are firstly going to get persistence so remember if you don't know your PC IP type IP config it'll be if you're in the UK it should be 192.168. something dot something something maybe another something um, so mine I already know is this um, I already have mine and it says welcome to beef what's a freeway handshake lol we inspect this this is the index.html if you remember if this was your own website you want to sneak that in somewhere um, <coughs> and now if we actually go here we've actually got this browser hooked but if we leave this browser right here we lose this so second we get it hooked our main thing is set persistence you can mess around with these but for this video I'm just gonna execute this and as you see down there we do that if we shut that and we go to this one we now have persistence <coughs> um, you can go ahead and look around social engineering and stuff um, you know we can do quite a lot um, text to voice um, you know I actually heard that but you know I'm joking I didn't really hear it but yeah um, anything that I play you won't be able to hear um, but anyway you've got all of this stuff you can mess around with um, it's kind of endless so here's what we're going to be interested in um so firstly we're going to obviously create a payload so i would create it in the var dub 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 slash html file just because it's going to be in here anyway and it's not msf console okay what the hell all right it's msf venom minus p and if you're doing Windows, just Google a cheat sheet. But because I'm doing Linux, because I don't have time to set up a virtual machine, um, I'm going to be doing it here. Just remember, you're just customizing what I'm showing you. If you're hosting your own website, you've got to do that. But that is a whole different video. If you're doing this on a Windows machine, just Google MSF Venom Windows P. 
payload cheat sheet and it gives you it right away. Um, Linux slash x64 slash meter printer reverse underscore tcp. The L host equals to if you were port forwarding this, um, it would be to your router's IP if that's what you port forwarded on. Although I don't recommend that because if it's an exe or any kind of file really, it's most likely going to get decompiled at one point and that kid will probably sit there going, eh, but you're getting DDoS man, eh, but, and then there you go, GG's. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and then you want to select your L port, I have minus F for file type. Uh, it's going to be an elf and then we want to specify you could specify a directory here so like uh, var dub 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 but we're already in there so we're just going to drop it as update.elf and that should do that oh I didn't mean that I meant that um, we go into msf console <coughs> as we see our payload is generated we're going to use the exploit slash multi slash handler um, we are going to set payload to the same one as earlier um, which is this meet pizza slash reverse why am I doing ls okay um, show options not ls <coughs> You want to set the L host. If you port forwarded, this would be the time to select. Say if you port forwarded your VM's IP, you would put the VM IP in here, or whatever you port forwarded. I don't really know what you've done. So, and then the L port, the same port is up here. And then we just want to click run. And by the way, I enlarge that. For well, you know, I yeah. There you go. That's enlarged. So that's what you really want to do. I'm gonna not enlarge that anymore. So yeah, that's now listening. So this is the listener, that's the payload. Now we're gonna drop that with a bit of a social engineering attack. So I actually, even though people don't wanna see this, I want to show it. Um, even though this is our persistence, but like I said, there's other ways of getting persistence. We want to go, we could keep this, but um, slash update.elf and then we do exactly we do that. Yeah, that's fine. And as you see, it comes up magic and we install the missing plugin and we get an issue. Okay. That isn't an issue. Um, okay. We'll do 0 .0 .0, um, 3000 slash. Um, I think we just lost our payload. I mean, our hook. Um, can actually change that okay that's not an issue don't panic don't panic boys we'll just have to edit this a, a tiny bit social engineering fake um, not that and we're just gonna change that and hopefully that should work Jesus Christ, okay. That's what it's going to look like. No, okay. What the f okay. Okay. Um. Okay. One thing that we could do. Uh, we could run this. So if we execute that. We'll see this. This website wants to run. That's fine. Now if we head to a redirect, um, because it's on BigBrain, uh, we redirect it to here, slash elf, no, slash update dot elf. 
and because that prompt they should see this and they should accept the download right there now you know they're gonna go to their downloads and you know they've just been told that they need to run this um, you know file um, because obviously it needs to update it needs to add something you know whatever okay yeah <coughs> um, so they're just gonna allow this you know <coughs> and now you know they run it on a, on a windows machine this would be a lot easier and now of course we have a shell and we're root so simple so i hope you enjoyed that video um like i said this was mainly social engineering and this isn't really you know them visiting your browser and then you getting a reverse shell um that's probably could be done with auto phone um auto browser phone um but their brand, their browser has to be vulnerable to a certain exploit and that's quite an old thing and i doubt there's any new exploits um and ODs on there so yeah well that's all i've got for you today um hope you enjoyed it was a pretty simple but fun video um like i said if you really want to do this seriously make sure that you have a domain and you know just do some research into it i've just shown you the basic concept so you at least know how to you know create a reverse shell you know how to use the basics of um beef you know stuff like that so yeah have a good one